What's up YouTube, it's Leap for Legend, and today is the second installment of Pokemon Go Journal Entry number two. I know I said I do these every week, but I figure with, uh, with it being such a popular game right now, I want to pump out a couple a week, um, just so you guys don't have to wait a full week to uh, get my update about the game. So first things first, I'm really glad I used my Google account because the Pokemon uh, trainer account uh, were down for like three days, so I'm really glad I used my Google account. Uh, as far as I know, I know iOS got an update, I'm still waiting for an Android update. Um, but those problems should be fixed as of right now. Also last week I talked about the Pokestops and I said they refresh about every hour. It's actually only about every five to ten minutes depending on uh, the location. I think, like I said, it's probably only like five to ten minutes. Uh, depending on location, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a lot shorter than an hour like I told you originally. Next thing I want to talk about, I don't know if it's my fault or Niantic's fault, but it's really kind of frustrating. I'm seeing people on YouTube and Twitter have these amazing teams having all of these huge variety of Pokemon. And I'm just not finding that around my house. Uh, I know I'm going to get in the comments saying, like, get off, your, get off your fat butt off the couch and go walking. That's definitely not the case. I've walked all over the place. Um, I'm at work all day. I walk around my house. I've been, you know, out and about. I've actually been doing stuff, but I'm not finding Pokemon. I don't know what it is. Uh, people are sitting on their couch catching, like, four or five Pokemon just sitting on their couch. I've not caught one in my house besides my Charmander. Also, Sunday night, uh, me and my wife and my son walked for probably a good solid two hours, and I think I only caught four Pokemon. I don't know if that's right. Like, I think uh, the way I see it or the way I'm seeing it on Twitter, they're popping up everywhere. So it's really frustrating. It's really frustrating to see these teams with, like, seven or 800 uh, um, combat points, and my my uh, my highest Pokemon is at, like, 90, maybe 150. I don't, I don't know. So that's really frustrating. Then again, that's probably just me being a baby. Uh, but I think it I think I should be seeing more Pokemon than I am So I don't know I don't know what's going on all that being said let's get into the gameplay uh, as you can see I do have Pokemon around me however they're always three footprints away and I'm not the best tracker or I don't know if I have this tracking thing down but I just cannot seem to find them and that is frustrating uh, again that's me being a baby uh, I definitely will figure it out I know uh, because I'm just gonna keep at this game and keep playing it so eventually I will figure stuff out but at but starting off, and seeing all these successful people so far, it's really frustrating. But one cool thing that I did figure out uh, myself was that you can turn on Power Saver. Um, basically what that does is you can turn your uh, phone upside down, put it in your pocket. Uh, the screen will go to black except a faint little uh, Pokemon logo. And uh, that will keep you in game because if you close out your game, your GPS stops working. Uh, and you're not able to count steps as far as I know. Uh, so you can't like hatch eggs or anything. So the Power Saver, throw your phone in your pocket. Uh, that's a really good technique to use. So next, I did go to a gym battle yesterday. Um, the, as far as the gameplay goes or the battling sequence goes, I got my butt kicked. Uh, I played against a Jolteon that was uh, combat points about 750. Like I said, my Pokemon are not strong. And uh, I took all six of my Pokemon and I only got it about half its HP. Um, but as far as battling goes, I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I keep being a baby and frustrated. But actually losing that battle and seeing how strong that guy's Jolteon was actually motivates me to actually go out and play. Um, I did reach out to someone on Twitter uh, who is playing the game really well, and he gave me some really good pointers, so um, I'm going to take that out and um, hopefully improve, use his pointers to improve. One of the pointers he did give me was to hatch eggs. Uh, I did hatch an egg. I got a uh, Cubone right there. Uh, that hatch took uh, five kilometers I had to walk, but it also gives me a ton of Stardust. So. If you go into your Pokemon and uh, just click on one, you'll notice that you have some Stardust here. I think it gave me like 1,200 Stardust, so just hatching an egg, that's really good. Another thing I heard, you want to uh, upgrade your Pokemon before you evolve them. So um, that's what I've been trying to do. Uh, probably my Geodude is a high enough uh, experience to evolve it eventually once I get um, enough gold uh, Geodude candy. Um, however, I do have a Graveler, so I probably won't be uh, evolving Geodude anytime soon. So hatch eggs, catch Pokemon to get Stardust. It sounds like Stardust is probably the most valuable thing in this game uh, at the moment. So guys, that's my team so far. That's this journal entry. Um, that's what these are going to be from now on. Uh, just probably short little three minute clips of how my team's updating. Um, I hope next week to have my own gym. I hope next week to uh, have some stronger Pokemon. And then um, I hope next week also uh, that I can be more knowledgeable and I can teach you guys and then in the comments uh, You can ask me questions and I can answer those things for you. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please uh, 
like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. The uh, link is in the description below. I really don't want to say that every episode. I sound like a robot, um, but I feel like I have to for some reason. Anyway, guys, have a good day.